But speaking of either show, <laughs> uh, could Money in the Bank be the first time in forever that Bray Wyatt shows face in the flesh? I think it's entirely possible. However, I don't think it's the right time. The more that I think about it, the the less I want to see him show up and like interfere physically. Yeah, I mean that's that's fair. I mean, there, you could definitely make a case for for keeping him out of it physically and just running the Firefly Funhouse vignettes that he's been doing for the last month. Which I'm gonna go out on a limb here and just throw this out there to you. Firefly Funhouse is the greatest creative direction WWE has taken a chance on in the modern era. I agree with that. It's so wildly different, and I think it paid off big time because Twitter blew it, blew up after that. So the only thing that slightly bothers me, it, it's, it has nothing to do with the actual vignettes themselves. It's the immediate reaction to the first one, which was... This is stupid, I don't like it, from some people who were wrong. (laughs) And then week four of these vignettes, he reveals this new mask, which is terrifying and awesome. And all at once, like, the Joker from the New 52, Clown from Spawn, and um, Slipknot. Yeah. And... there I saw at least one person, at least one person go, I'm bored of this already. It just, and I was like, I was like, how could you be bored of this already? This is the most incredible creative thing that has happened on this show. Like nobody is a weird cult children's television show host. Nobody. And I love the the inherent darkness of it from the very beginning. Yes. Because we all know that that's there. Yes. But and like, it's like uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, but like. To me, it's almost reminiscent of of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, where it seems innocent enough, but like if you start looking at the subtext of what he's saying and what's going on, it's really dark. Yeah. And that is right in my wheelhouse of shit that I love. Because <laughs> uh, I loved that movie as a kid because it was fun, and as I got older... I appreciate the just the twisted darkness of of that character <laughs> in it, surrounded by all this other like brightly colored happy fun shit, you know. Uh, so I love what Bray Wyatt is doing here. Love it, especially like when he just deadpans at the camera. Oh my god, terrifying! And his voice, and then they do the musical oh. cue with it. Uh, it it's so uneasy. And, like, I thought they killed off Ramblin' Rabbit, but apparently he's okay, you know? Because uh, we have Abby the Witch, Ramblin' Rabbit, and and uh, uh, Mercy the Buzzard. Those are the three characters. Yeah. And they're really glad that you're their friend, and this is a friendship that'll never, ever end. And when you <laughs> say that slower, it gets creepier. So he's, he was singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Yeah. Um, his eyes were a different color in the mask. He was singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but his voice was completely different. Um, and obviously he had pulled his, his dreads down to the side, but like I have a plus home run. I can't wait to see what he, I, I hope that he doesn't even necessarily have matches. I just want him to torture people. Like, that's really all I want. (laughs) Yeah, like, Like, and I was, like, wondering that, too. Like, how are they going to incorporate this character into the wrestling world? So, I had, I I, I believe I had said this to to you in in a text, but I'll just throw it out there for everybody. I think what they should do is, instead of entrance music for him, play the theme song for the show, The Firefly Funhouse. Mm Mm-hmm. Have him appear on screen with his hurt and heel gloves because it says it across the knuckles, right? Because mm-hmm. in the very first one, he listened to the gloves and they said something to him and he took the advice of one over the other. So I would have him listen to the gloves on the Tron and whichever one took over, he would come out either in the mask if if hurt one 
or in the sweater vest if Heel won. Okay? And then if Heel won, he refuses to wrestle the person and only wants to be their friend. But if Hurt won, he doesn't have a match. God help his opponent. God help who's in that ring. Just a merciless beatdown, and then he leaves. And do that every time for like three months. It's just have that happen over and over again. And you never know which one he's going to be because his gloves always tell him to do different things. Yeah. I think that would be fantastic. And it's different. It's completely different because nobody has two different personalities at the same time. It hasn't been done since like Mick Foley. <laughs> oh, could you imagine a Bray Wyatt versus Mick Foley match? Yes. <laughs> And I'd want it to be Cactus Jack versus this masked guy now. Oh, man. Because I want them to murder each other. <laughs> oh, this is this is awesome. I don't think he's yeah. going to wrestle in the mask, but I think the mask no, is... No, I think he's got to. I don't know if there's a way for him to do that, for it to, like, look... For him to, like, actually wrestle in it? Yeah. I don't... I don't think there's a way to like do that to make the mask look good. Why wouldn't he just wear the mask that he wore in the vignette? I'm saying like to physically move around and and wrestle another human being in. The mask does not look like it's it's ring ready. It was like a little thick on his face, but it was it's I you know I was asking this question too. Whose face is he wearing? Well, what do you mean by that? Well, in the in the um, in the artist's rendition of what the mask was, like his his concept, yeah, um, it has like there's like hooks, and it clearly looks like like skin, yeah. So, like, did he cut somebody's face off and wear it? Like, is that what they're going with? I don't know if there's like subtext behind it, but I'm just wondering, like, whose face is he wearing? Is it Sister Abigail's face? <laughs> is it uh, is it Harper's face? <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, like I, I, they might be going like full bore, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre serial killer shit, but like somehow a child cult leader. Like I love it. Like it's so weird and and twisted and dark. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's a very good possibility if you look at that uh, thing again because it's very reminiscent of New 52 Joker in that regard where he's wearing somebody's – he's wearing his own face, the Joker in the New 52. But I'm just saying, did Bray Wyatt cut his face off and, and now wear it in that mask? Or, like, what's the deal? I think it's just, like, supposed to be a creepy mask. I don't think it's meant for, like, a deeper – thing oh everything everything in in the fire fire fun house is deeper <laughs> everything <laughs> like when he said i'm over here i'm over here and then he's in a spot that we just saw that had nobody there mm-hmm. that's like oh okay it's because you weren't <laughs> or looking. the right and and or the uh the the tweet that he put out where he was like four years ago i did a series of <laughs> i did a series of promos and every there's a sentence in each one that didn't belong and it tells the story of this character right now. And I was like, dude, what? <laughs> what? And then he asked people to find them. Yeah. And then was replying to them that they were wrong. Did anyone? <laughs> I don't think anyone figured it out. I don't. Somebody got really close. Somebody was only off by like two lines. And he acknowledged that. And then he posted the actual thing. Uh, see, I didn't see him post the actual thing. Yeah, he 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 did eventually post the actual thing. And then he started directly mentioning other wrestlers and and apologizing for all of the stuff that he's done to them over the years, that's, which I think is fantastic. That's the heel. Right. Because he's uh, – is it sarcastic? Does he mean it? Is he going to attack them after he said sorry? What are the gloves telling him? <laughs> How does Rambling Rabbit fit into all of this? We need answers. <laughs> Well, well, do you do you think Bray Wyatt would show up at Money in the Bank physically? Yeah, my I mean, my original idea was the way that Shane worded the rules of the Money in the Bank match made it seem as though anyone can grab the briefcase and win it. So I was like, 
The lights are going to cut out. We're going to get that thing pop up. Bray Wyatt's going to be on the top of the ladder. Everybody's going to be knocked out, and he's just going to unhook the briefcase and take it. I'm less on that train now, yeah. but I still think it's a possibility. I don't think it's a possibility at all. Because like that, imagine, so. imagine the imagine the Firefly Funhouse after that, where he's got this briefcase and he's explaining it to those three characters in that room. Look what I went and got you guys, and the little children cheer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it'd just be so weird. But I think, hearkening back, I'm going to be a champion now. Am I your champion? But I see. I don't think this version of Bray Wyatt needs. No, he doesn't. He absolutely doesn't. And there's a very, very good chance that we don't even get him in a ring for a very long time. And I'm fine. But with I think. That. No, me too. I just think that these need to start being directed at a specific person at a certain point. I don't. I don't think that at all. I think Not it should yet. be more anyone. Literally directed at anyone. Anyone wants, but, but anyone you need that a, he wants you need to a torture subject. that week. If he's if he's just saying anyone, then he's never going to get around to anyone. There needs to be a specific person. No, but I'm saying like, he shows should... up and attacks person A, and then the next week right. it's person B. Like It's just random with him. Right, it doesn't right. matter no, who I, I his get target that. is. I mean, I, mean, I mean the vignettes need to be targeted at a person. He eventually needs to be talking to someone. I think that I still think that eventually this should all boil down to him attacking Roman Reigns because it's still regardless of all of the treatment quote unquote that he's been through or whatever all of his atoning for his sins it's still anyone but Roman Reigns I I don't like that <laughs> Do you realize what a step I think they back work well that would be I don't think it's a step back cuz he's a completely different person now I just think Bray Wyatt has way more to offer than a feud with Roman Reigns. Yeah, but that's at first. They're going to just use it to get Roman Reigns over. That's all they're going to use Every- it for. Everything is to get Roman Reigns I over. I know. That's why I want him away from this, because it's finally something different. It's finally like a character. We don't have characters anymore. No, yeah, that's true. He's a character. A legitimate character. See, unless I'm gonna go, out, I'm gonna go ahead and say, unless we're getting Bray Wyatt versus Kofi next, I don't know if I'm truly interested in another Kofi versus Kevin Owens match with Kevin Owens chasing. I don't know if I'm even interested in Kofi versus whoever the next challenger would be. I mean, it's possible that it would be Bray Wyatt. Yeah, Bray Wyatt versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. Like, imagine how, imagine how fun it would be to see him include and welcome all of the positivity and the and the new day stuff with the unicorns and yeah. the rainbows yeah. and uh and then just like at a certain point just like the switch flipping and him <laughs> not being amused anymore <laughs> and then it becomes like super terrifying <laughs> yeah and Xavier Woods already has his like like he's afraid of Bray Wyatt that's been That's a story. Right. That's right. All of this could, They did that forever ago. Holy great pull. All of oh this my could God. come together. So Woods if was like Woods was like a dog that read somebody's soul <laughs> <laughs> when he when he came across Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Terrified of him. And how creepy would it be to see him on the set of the Firefly Funhouse? Just like super uncomfortable and but like and not speaking yeah but just like okay can i go and bray being super over the top positive about it (laughs) we have my great friend xavier woods (laughs) (laughs) so that's the only way that i could see kofi kingston winning otherwise i'm going kevin owens I want I want Bray Wyatt in, involved in all of the stories. Uh, <laughs> Let's just go through and rebook the whole show. As yeah, the whole show is just a Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt fest. interfering in each match and <laughs> going forward in that story. Yeah. For Royally Rumbled, I'm Jordan. I'm Robert. And remember, no, no guess, guess is, is as, as good, good as ours. ours.